Welcome to Two Minute Philosophy. What are Aristotle's four causes? When I look at Michelangelo's David, I might be amazed by its beauty and seek to know more about the statue. And because knowledge of a thing is attained when we have knowledge of its cause, I am ultimately asking for an explanation of why the thing exists. There are four ways in which our why question can be answered, or four types of causes or explanations that, upon discovery, will help us to better know the thing. These causes are known as the material, formal, efficient, and final causes. Each of these four causes provide a particular explanation of the thing. Marble explains that which the statue is made of, or the material cause of the thing. The formal cause is the figure or organizing principle of the thing, in this case, the form of David. The efficient cause is that which brings the thing into existence or informs the marble with the form of David. For Aristotle, this would be the art of sculpting or Michelangelo qua sculptor. Lastly, but most importantly, we have the final cause, that for the sake of which the statue is made. This may be for the delight of those spectators who see the statue. As contemporary Thomist Edward Fazer writes, quote, in combination, these causes provide a complete explanation of the thing, end quote. Furthermore, these causes do not just apply to human artifacts, but absolutely everything in the created world. Sometimes, however, one thing can act as more than one of these causes. For example, although flesh and bones are the material cause of man, and the soul is the formal cause of man, God acts as both the efficient and final cause of man. Lastly, for Aristotle, the final cause is the most important of all the causes. This is because a thing cannot ultimately be explained without reference to its end or what it is for. An artist uses a specific canvas, color palette, and artistic technique to paint a particular image. The material, formal, and efficient causes are all executed with an eye toward what the final cause is or the end that is sought after. Thus, the final cause is also called the first cause, because although it is the last in the order of execution, it is the first in the order of intention. Although the painting is completed only after the other three causes have done their part, the other three causes could not begin to do their part unless they know to what end they are aiming for.